Very good. The rain is finally stopping and it is still sunny and raining a little bit. It is supposed to thunderstorm, light showers the whole afternoon here in Indianapolis. Anyways, if you guys watched episode one here on the YouTube channel, Indianapolis episode one, I'm going to link the video above. Then you guys saw that in the morning, I explored and fished the upper reaches of the Pleasant Run. I ended up catching three different lifers, right? Very beautiful and exciting species of fish that I never caught before. And in the afternoon, I guess the main objective is still stays unchanged. We are still going to uh, explore this creek, do a species assessment. However, I hope you realize as you watch this video that the conditions now have changed, right? In particular, this set of falls right over here kind of divides this creek. And the down portion of it right now, downstream, actually connects to the White River. So the main question as I fish this portion of the creek in the afternoon or this run is are the species of fish going to change? Do you guys think that we're going to catch anything that is different than what we have caught in the previous video? Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, one dam is all it takes for all the species in a certain body of water to totally change. So hey, uh, this hole right here is very deep, right? One of the deepest holes around the area. I'm gonna get started with a little EPF swim on a 132 ounce Euro Tackle Tungsten Softlock Jig. I'm gonna give a few casts over here, see what's around, and we're gonna start heading downstream in hopes of catching more lifers today. Oh, had a hit under the falls. Not a bad hit either. What we got here? First fish under the falls here. Dude, I think it's a bass. Holy smokes, we definitely caught no bass in the morning. Look at that, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, one dam sometimes is all it takes for all the species to change. Check it out. It's a little smally, I believe. Let's double check here. But yeah, I think it's the Micropterus dolomiel. Look at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go back there, buddy. Now that over here is just beautiful, isn't it? Little smally inside our live well. Look at that. How vibrant and beautiful the patterns on this fella are, right? Not only this is my first ever smally from Indiana, okay? But this is actually a game changer. Why exactly is this a game changer? Because this is a predatory a species of fish right and let me tell you when you have predatory species of fish around you know that those dace and those little creek chub they will have no chance whatsoever they're going to be food for these fish right meaning that the species that we catch down here and downstream from here may indeed be very different than the ones that we caught above the falls that was like the second cast with the EPF swim. I'm going to hit this hole for another 15 minutes or so. But I can tell you, I already see a bunch of little tiny bluegill just swimming around this area here. And above the falls, I only caught one tiny little bluegill the entire morning, as you guys saw, right? It is definitely different. And I am excited about it. Oh, what do we got here? Son, what is this? Is it a new species? What is it? Wait a moment. After catching so many, you guys can see how many right bluegill I have in the bucket. Finally, I caught something different, but I don't think this is the orange spotted sunfish that I am looking for. As a matter of fact, let me scoop this one real quick. I think that one is actually a long ear sunfish. The Lepomis megalotis. Hmm, is it? Yeah, it looks like a long ear to me. What do you guys think? 
So that little fellow over there actually turned out to be a long ear sunfish, the biggest one inside this bucket. I just wanted to show you guys how many bluegill I actually caught before catching that dude, right? There is also a green sunfish in there, the Lepomis cyanellus, and check it out, huh? There is also a little tiny smallmouth bass is swimming outside of the egg bucket. <laughs> just like that. And another bluegill just chilling right here in front of the GoPro. Anyways, I'm gonna unzip it now and I'm gonna show you guys like the release over here of the fish. Check it out. They're all gonna go away at the same time. Let's open the top and see who's gonna make it out first. Gonna flip it real quick. Do they realize that they are free, actually? Oh, first one's out. I don't think they are that smart, you know? Oh, second one is gone. There's a few bluegill over here. Third one just went. And then the rest is still just in there, just chilling. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Yes, all right, yes, that's it. So anyways, I'm gonna release all of these guys over here, but I've been catching a bunch of sunnies around here, just trying to check if there's an orange a spotted one and nothing so far. I'm ready to just uh, keep going downstream in search of them lifers. Let's see, what is that? Is that a new species for me? i never seen those things before. They're pretty long too, and they, they don't look like crick chubs. Maybe they are crick chubs? Very strange. Very strange. And they kind of see the worm. I got one. I got one. What is that? Whatever it is, man, I saw it sucking down there. Oh, wait a moment. Oh, maybe I will oh, get some water, Leo. Get some water, bro. Holy moly. How can this thing not have water in it, man? Crucial moment right here. What the heck is this thing, bro? Do they have central stone rollers in Indiana? Yo, this is some type of sucker right over here. I saw the thing sucking down there, man. So I put my worm right in front of it. And little, you know, one suck went all the way in now is this a central stone roller kind of look like it let's see here oh wait um uh let's uh let, let, let's ask jared let's ask jared oh man jared just confirmed that there are central stone rollers here in basically every stream in indiana I was so happy when I saw these dudes just sucking down there, you know? I thought for sure, like, new species, but I have caught this one in another state before, right? Uh, kind of a little bit disappointed, but there is still one type of sucker down there that I see, you know? I see the fish sucking down there. I've been trying to get it. Ah, man, been doing this for the last one hour or so. Will EPF succeed? Well, at least we die trying, right? Huh, you all know it gets real when your boy brings out the Oakley polarized lenses. Being out here chasing these suckers, you know, chasing the good suck for like one hour. Haven't caught really the mysterious fish down there yet, but I'll tell something though. When we were fishing up there this morning, there was no smallie up there, was it? There was no green sunfish up there or long ear sunfish. Definitely there was no center stone roll. I did see some suckers up there this morning, but I think that those were just juvenile white sucker, the Catostomus commersoni. I could be wrong. Oh, suckers down there. Su time to throw the worm back there. Boy, don't got no time to be shooting YouTube video right now, man. Where's that sucker? There's a mysterious sucker down there, about eight inches long, 
being sucking all around this area and I can see the patterns on its body man that ain't no white sucker I'm telling you just wait until I catch it oh I will eventually well I will hopefully <laughs> catch it oh my lord I have to say this sucker 351 p.m. Uh, this sucker is not hitting at all it just keeps feeding around here I think I'm gonna go to the other side to see if there are some suckers on the other side but there are definitely some suckers that I don't have yet in this hole as much as I want to go down and explore more you know what I'm saying when you have a species right in front of you that you have never caught before I will not let the sucker win oh no ladies and gentlemen we cannot let the sucker win like this no 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 I'm gonna wait to the other side I'm gonna stand right on top of those rocks right there and see if there's some suckers over there too Eh, a little small I'm using my polarized lenses and I see some big fish down there is that a catfish I think there's some catfish in this creek well catfish is easy you know what I'm saying catfish you just uh, get some cut bait this is gonna be our cut bait right here put a little bigger hook cast right in front of it and the sucker's gonna hit well 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 as always EPF gets the rig ready for the fish by the time the thing is all rigged up they just disappear I don't see them anymore well that being said I already have the cut bait on may as well just probe the area over here the little rock cracks over here sometimes maybe a mad tom will come to play right some different species of catfish you just never know it is a multi-species fishing session may as well catch whatever's around little bow hat little bow hat got my cut bait I got him little bow hat I don't know what type of bow hat it is but little bow hat got the cut bait and I got the little bow hat yay son another species for today uh, I'm gonna find out soon enough uh, what this is look at it huh prime flathead catfish bait right over here little yellow bowhead Ameurus natalis has no idea what has happened to it yet yeah look at that huh now obviously this is not the target catfish right that I've been trying to catch down there there are actually two real big ones down there but by the time I put the cut bait on those two kind of disappeared on me so I decided to just put the cut bait around little crevices along the rocks and guess what that little fella showed up right yet another species for the pleasant run but man these suckers have been brutal big catfish disappear I still got about two hours you know to explore and fish out here haven't given up yet haven't given up yet boy what a day what a day it is it is currently 5 50 p.m. right now I just hopped back to this side of the dam let me tell you I was planning on catching the big catfish on the other side I had the rig ready and everything when I went to cast the big fish disappear that being said we did add a bowhead species to this video today and then I kind of looked at my on my phone and I was like oh man we are running out of time out of this five hours fishing the afternoon today three hours three hours 180 minutes homies I've been focusing on the little eight inch sucker in front of me and it is still feeding down there laughing at me you know just not biting all my stuff I was using a size 18 hook for that sucker 
I'm going all out now. It is do or die. I'm gonna work for another one hour, one and a half hour, and I got the Tanago on, and I kid you not, look at the size of the bait that I'm going to put in front of that little sucker. You see that right there? C -c Can you even see that? You see? Man, it's do or die. You know what I'm saying? 90 minutes, sucker or no sucker. I definitely don't want the sucker to win today, so we will see. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got the sucker on the Tanago, son. Sucker on the Tanago! Yes! New species, boy! Just to end the day, on the Tanago. All right, let's, let's put it in the bucket, son. Now we can leave. Woo, ladies and gentlemen, this is crazy. Well, I tell you what, this fish is not going anywhere. It's land on the left, land on the right. Just took a few shots of it too. It has been a good while since something like this has happened. If you guys remember last time that I devoted more than three hours to chase a single species was when I was down in Roanoke, Virginia. You guys remember that video? Took me like five hours to catch a fantail darter. The Ethiostoma flabillare, right? That was a pretty crazy fishing session. And this dude, this little dude, you know, this little dude has been sucking down there <laughs> at the Plaza Run for hours. I've been following this guy down there for hours. And finally, I tied on the Tanago and I saw it react to it. It is warm towards it and boom, it sucked it in with that sucking mouth right there one suck one hook set you know and i caught it i could not be happier oh okay let me release this fish real quick and i'm going to talk a little bit more about it in the outro truly unbelievable more than three hours chasing after this little guy don't know if you guys can see or not but this fish actually has two dark bands on its body right this right here, my friends, is a species number 313, the Northern Hog Sucker, Ipentelium nigricans. Beautiful species. Sadly, over here at this particular spot, there was only this one little fella down there. And after hours and hours, we finally caught it. So, tell you what, little fella, thank you very much for eating my Tanago, okay? I truly appreciate it. It's species number 313 is swimming away back to the pleasant run. And as you guys saw in this video, this dam over here was truly a game changer, huh? One dam that we humans built over here as an obstruction for this body of water was truly a game changer. I mean, just peep all the species that we caught today and the numbers and you will come to realize how different this video was in comparison to the previous video on the YouTube channel, right? We landed so many different species from under this dam in compare that were totally different, right? Than the ones from above it. Long ear sunfish, central stone roller, green sunfish, small mouth bass, right? yellow bow head and it goes on and it goes on that is crazy well now including the northern hog sucker too i did see a few suckers in the morning up there but i believe there were like white sucker the catostomus commersoni well anyways it's been a full day of fishing for me i did divide this fishing session in two videos because as you guys can see you know the length of my videos is always pretty long right but man, I am exhausted. And this is only day one in Indianapolis too. I am going to be fishing the Fall Creek tomorrow and then the White River two days from now. Boy, ladies and gentlemen, there's plenty of room to catch more lifers. Two, 300 
I'm 13 right now, right? Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling. I, I'm starting to love in the end already. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. It is time for me to go back to the hotel, get some dinner, get some rest, replenish myself, so that tomorrow, meaning the next video on the channel, I can go out and slay them again. Tie lines, fellas. I will see you all next time. If I'm not wrong, if I'm not wrong, there's a big ass molly down there too. May as well try to catch with a big crawfish. <laughs>